the fourth voyage cannibals and customs i was lucky to be alive after my third voyage my wife requested me to stop sailing the sea you have a family you cannot put your life in danger but me being a sailor could not stop myself from going on the next voyage don't worry dear i will be fine i said goodbye to my family and left for the next voyage along with a few other merchants we traveled for many days i was enjoying my journey one day a storm made the sea wild and fearsome thunder lightning strong winds and heavy rain made it difficult to sail all the men and goods were thrown in the sea we took support of drums wooden planks and whatever we could to save our lives we were floating for many days after a few days we reached near an island look an island we should try and get to that island all of us put in all our efforts and reached the island it looked like a wooden island there were huge trees all around we decided to explore after walking for a long time we reached near a firehouse we saw tribal people dancing around the fire we should ask those people for help they are tribals they do not like visitors i don't think it is a good idea to approach them do you have any other plan finally we decided to approach those people the tribals welcomed us you look like sailors you are welcome to stay with us they gave us food and drinks all of us enjoyed the meal come with me we have made arrangements for you to stay he took us to a barn you can stay here as long as you wish my people will take care of you all of us slept in the barn there were two tribal guards outside the barn they were watching us the next morning they gave us more food and drinks all of us enjoyed the food as we had eaten a lot we felt sleepy so we decided to sleep we got up the next morning again they gave us food and drinks we ate a lot and slept the same routine continued for many days one day after eating i decided not to sleep and explore the island instead i was walking through the dense trees suddenly i heard somebody whispering i decided to take a look as i went near i saw the tribal leader talking to one of his men master how many more days do we need to feed the sailors i think a couple of more days let them become fat and healthy then we can eat them i am sure they will be delicious i was shocked to hear this oh my god they are cannibals they are going to eat us i have to do something i ran towards the barn and woke up my friends i narrated the whole incident to them sinbad what should we do i have a plan i decided to request one of the guard who was standing outside a barn so please help us i have a family all of us came here by mistake we don't want to die please help us to escape the guard had pity on us he decided to help us the next morning he took all of us towards the shore we made a platform using a few wooden planks and bamboos we thanked the guard and set sail on the platform it was a difficult journey but we had to do it to save our lives we sailed for many days after a few days we reached another island the shore was guarded by the king's soldiers they immediately caught us and took us to the king i narrated the whole story to the king don't worry you are safe here 
बट यू विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सर्वाइव ऑन दिस आईलैंड मजेस्टी वी आर रेडी टू डू एनी काइंड ऑफ वर्क दैट यू असाइन अस द किंग ऑर्डर अस टू टेक केयर ऑफ हिस हॉर्सेस वी स्टार्टेड लिविंग ऑन दैट आईलैंड एवरी डे वी यूज टू फीड द हॉर्सेस वी ऑल्सो हैव टू क्लीन द स्टेबल्स आई इवन टुक द हॉर्सेस फॉर राइड्स The king was impressed by my hard work. He got me married to a nobleman's daughter. Months passed. One day, my wife died due to illness. I came to know that the kingdom has an unusual custom of burying the living spouse along with the dead one. I was shocked. The soldiers forcefully buried me along with my wife. in a wide and deep pit they gave me a jug of water and seven pieces of bread i was in a lot of pain i thought i am surely going to die here as i moved around i noticed a baro a fox was staring at me i forcibly moved my legs and shouted the fox ran and disappeared i understood that this was the last chance to save my life i slowly and painfully crawled through the tunnel and reached the shore a good scaring ship was about to leave the shore i got into the ship and requested the captain to take me to baghdad after traveling for a few days we reached baghdad i was happy to meet my family so this was the story of my fourth voyage it was a dangerous voyage master yes it was please tell me about the next voyage sure sinbad started narrating the next voyage I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and watch more interesting videos.